What's going on, people? Let's see. Let me check the YouTube thing. Give that a second to pop up. It's like a five, seven second delay, something like that. All right, cool. There's that. So, yeah, same as usual. I don't, well, I say same as usual because I've been doing these for like a while. I don't know if I'll continue doing them or doing them or not. I'll figure that out a little bit later. Maybe I'll put up one of those polls or something, see if people will even care, right? Because if I don't do this, it's nothing to me, right? But if somebody likes these or something, may, or maybe I should start scheduling these at a decent time. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. But either way, I'm going to go over the things that I wore last month, December. Some of these are somewhat newish. They've been reviewed somewhat recently, so I'll kind of follow up there, say what I think after actually like dealing with it for a while. Now the things are old favorites like this right here, right? So let's go ahead and do that. This right here, this is the Adidas 5923. Back before this, they had the Aniki Runner. And the Aniki Runner, what was that, like 2017, I think? Maybe 18. Either way, whenever that came out, it was like one of my favorite things that Adidas had done, right? And then they moved along to this at some point, and I was, it was okay at first, because it was basically the same thing, but they changed the name. And then it became this type of thing like it's got this meshy thing it's not the same doesn't fit well it still fits the same but it doesn't feel the same i don't know and then they just kind of stopped making them and then i was like i was glad that they stopped making it even though i liked them at first because what they had devolved to was not so great but yeah that's that the 5923 i don't know if those are even still around or not love the anikis yeah like the anikis were solid right all of those i have only like three or four pair. Had I known what was going to happen to them, I would have stopped and told myself, like, get more of these, right? But I thought that they, since it was like one of Adidas's new boost models, that it would be around for like forever. Like, well, I guess this isn't around forever, but they made a lot of these, the 350. Uh, which one is this? This? Oh, yeah. So I said before that, like, when it came to the 350s, I got a lot of them, right? If you've seen the history of the channel or whatever, you know what I'm talking about. But this was one that I actually wanted and did not get, not initially, but SVD, says Valdoscalo or something. I forget exactly how that is even spelled, so I obviously don't know how to pronounce it. But SVD, they came through with a raffle like weeks, weeks after the, the original sale, and I won there, probably because people stopped paying attention to it. I wanted them because they kind of reminded me of like the Royal Jordan one, you know, like the whole black and blue thing. And they still kind of do slightly different blue. You can also see it shows up pretty well there. There's a lot of blue on the inside of there, I guess, because of the light. But this this side, it's kind of hard to see that at first, you know, because it just mostly looks black. But yeah, I really like the way these came out. So it was one of my favorite 350s in some time because. I also like this style, like the other ones that they had been doing. It was like they had like a little plastic strip on on this side of them and all that. I just like the all over knit with like the little stripe on the side. That's that's my thing. That's what I'm into, right? But for whatever reason, they were kind of getting away from that. You know, who cares what I want, right? <sighs> Silly Adidas people. But now nobody's making those 350s, so what's it even matter, right? Let's go ahead and see what's in this box. This, okay. I guess it must have been like rainy or something. I broke out these at some point for whatever reason. The cold ready, not the DNA, but one of the standard Ultra Boost. I forget if this is like a black light thing or what. Maybe it is a black light, but the pink over here, I went out to the park one day and I came home and it was all glowing and stuff. And I was like, oh, well that's different, right? So if you're out in the sunlight and then you walk anywhere else, then you kind of get that little glow that's going on there. It's kind of cool, right? It's a nice little effect. But either way, as far as cold weather goes, raining, all that stuff, or if you just need something for like the snow type weather, because it's got this extra trail style midsole going on or outsole going on down there. Yeah, these are solid for that. So I'm guessing that is why I brought these out, because normally this isn't just an everyday go to. Not for me. But I do really like them a whole lot. Like, I wore them to Iowa in the early part of 2021, and they worked out perfectly. What I wore this past year was some Jordan 9 boots, which you'll see in a moment. But for now, I'm going to talk about what you're going to see now. Oh, well, check that out.
It's a Jordan 9, just not a boot. So this here, right? I was saying that in the review of the boot that I didn't like the comfort of those as much as these. Yeah, like these just, I mean, it's a boot. You can't really compare this, compare them. It's not the same. It's not fair. But these are really nice. Like they've got this little inside sock liner sort of thing going on, right? Maybe you can kind of see that. So it gives it a nice feel. The comfort is not as terrible as you'd expect for like a standard Jordan. So that's pretty awesome as well, right? So I do like that piece too. And a lot of these, well, I won't say a lot of these, but some of these look pretty cool, right? It's all about the color. And with this model, it's definitely one of those ones where the, the color selection will make or break it. Because I've seen some and thought, oh, yeah, I really want to get that, things like this. And then I've seen other ones where it comes out in whatever other colors, and it's just, oh, that's an abomination, right? But like I've often said, the right color is what you need to see before you really make your decision on something. Because some things I've been pretty against until I actually saw a decent version of it. That wasn't my first nine. My first nine was the Flight Nostalgias in somewhere in the middle of 2019. Can't really describe them, but they've got like some multicolor thing going on. If you know what I'm talking about, like you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you're not missing a whole lot. I like them, but I think I wore those last month actually. Did I? No, I just had them out for the review. They they made an appearance in the Jordan Nine boot review. This is the Aqua Angel Gel Light 3 from the Back Streets of Japan pack. Yeah. So these are really cool. The other half of this pack is kind of like a, a slight mint green sort of color, right? It's very light. You can barely tell it's even there. And then a little black and a little beige. But this one's got a little more color going on with it. And I do really like it a fair amount, you know. I don't know how the color's showing up in the screen and everything because the lighting in here is not great right now because it just isn't and the webcam is also not great because it sucks so there's that but if you're wanting to see these like in decent quality i would definitely suggest like checking through the review because they do look pretty nice i mean if you're not into these colors like pink and blue and teal and what lavender i guess then don't worry about it you wouldn't like them anyway but if you're, like, at least mildly interested, I would say then, yeah, go check it out because you might see something you like. And given that they're Gel Light 3s and not part of any, like, big collaboration, you can probably find them for right around $120, which is, I'm pretty sure, what they cost. Here's something that's a little off the standard, right? So the Flyknit Air Max 1 Ultra, Air Max 1 Ultra Flyknit, yeah, Air Max 1 Ultra Fly in it. These were short-lived back in... When was this? I don't even remember exactly because it was early in my time. 2016. 2016, they made a couple of these. I bought this pair and I bought that green pair, which you may have seen in my Air Max collection or something. I mean, they they don't feel in the upper like, like a normal Air Max 1, obviously, because this is all going to be fly in it. And it kind of makes me... Even though I like flying it, I kind of prefer like the standard one, you know? But I, you can't go wrong with this. It's still going to be comfortable. It's just, it's a mental thing, I guess, because you're expecting one thing. And also the outsole is like very different, right? It's got an ultra style outsole because it is an ultra. But if you ever see just Air Max 1 Ultra, that's the kind of thing you're going to see on those. But they're super light, very breathable, great summer wear and all that good stuff. Wasn't much for December because, you know, if your feet get cold easily, you might not want to wear these. But if you're just looking for comfort and breathability, then yeah, go for it, right? I mean, Virginia winters are mostly a joke anyway. It's just technically winter because it's after the 21st. Though, when I wore these was before the 21st because, let's see, right around here, Wherever that Game of Thrones is, that's when it actually switched over to winter, technically. This, oh man, I remember these very well. Because this, this was one I was like very into. So, I was off running around in the foreign lands one time, and I saw a whole bunch of these in the store, right? And I had seen them online initially, but they had disappeared, you know, because... Some colors, they either they don't make a lot or they just 
move quicker than others. But this was one that just moved quicker for some odd reason. And I saw them in that store. And luckily, the exchange rate was certainly in my favor as far as like American dollars to whatever else. So in a way, it's like I got these on a discount, you know? And I really like the colors too. And I don't know if it's going to show or not. Let me move this thing over. But if you look down in there real close and like this piece, you can kind of see like extra little under the fabric, like the different colors, like the pink and the blue that are down here in the gray. So I didn't even notice that at first until I got a closer look. But yeah, also, in case you're wondering, this is an Ultra Boost 2.0, right? The 1.0s have like a heart shaped design on here. The 2s, more of like just lines, like some poorly done gradients. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at like the Ultra Boost DNAs and you look on the front, as I've mentioned before, those are broken up in that way. They have different stitching patterns to match up with the different years of Ultra Boost or the different .0s, right? 4.0, 3.0, so on and so forth. This pretty fancy box there. This is that SVD. I was just talking about these guys a moment ago. The SVD Gel Light 3, right? So I don't remember how much this was exactly, but it was not cheap. Definitely not cheap, right? And I think I got this straight from SVD too. So there's also that piece of it. But anyways, a lot of it is kind of like these recycled materials and stuff, right? So it's got all this going on, you know, you've got this sort of burlap sack style lacing thing. You've got some recycled plastic, I think, down here in the, this piece that kind of makes up what the tongue would be, which is uh, going to extend all around through there. I don't even know what this material is down in here. It's not really focusing either, so there's that. But either way... These are these came out really nicely, in my opinion. I also like the colors that they brought in here. And since fall was ending, this is the week I decided to wear some like fall sort of colored shoes. I remember that because I kicked the week off with these, you know. And there's the SVD on the side. But yeah, definitely check out SVD. They they have raffles on things often after other sites. So if you kind of miss out on other places, you might want to check them. Though, be warned, you do pay in euros or something. It's an overseas site, right? Then you got, like, the extra shipping, so there is that piece of it. So you're going to pay a little bit more, but at least you have the peace of mind of knowing you're getting it from an actual retailer. So that's pretty nice, at least in my opinion. This right here is the Ultra Boost S&L suede and leather, because as you see, there's some suede here and there's some leather here, right? That's kind of where it gets its name. And I like these. They remind me of a fair amount of my, oh, wait, actually, those are, you'll see those next. They remind me of some Jordan 8s over here. So these right here, otherwise, it's not the best Ultra Boost model, right? I think I wore these on a bike ride once also. I remember that very clearly over in Sandy Bottom Park. But either way, these right here, the green, it's a nice green, at least to me, right? It's not crazy in your face or whatever. Got a nice light sort of reddish color going on back there. This works fairly well to me, right? And this is one of those combinations I don't see a whole lot. Then down there in the inside, same thing, right? It's just that overall, when I was saying compared to like other Ultra Boost, it's not the, the normal build here. It's kind of like those, like the Woodstocks and things like that, you know, or some of the some of the other weatherproofing ones where it's not going to hug your feet like you might expect it to based on it being an ultra boost it's still fine you know but it's not going to give you that peak comfort that you might be expecting so that's why sometimes it's good to like look closely at things before you buy them and i say the same thing about like air max 97s or air max pluses right because those standard issue feel great right they do the 97, some people aren't super into, right? I get it. The full-length midsole, it doesn't really work out for some people. But overall, what I was saying was just that when you look at the material of it, material of it, that's what really kind of makes or breaks it, right? Because I have some pluses that feel great, and then I have some pluses that are okay. Same with the 97s. This right here, the Jordan 8, right? Now, this... Everything about, well, I don't say everything, but so many things about this are just not what I would normally be into, right? But for whatever reason, it just happens to work, at least in this particular case, right? 
So I like the colors, kind of the same as those SNLs I just showed you, the green, the, uh, the green, the red. Very cool. But ultimately, this thing does look very bulky, right? There's just a lot of stuff happening, right? You got all these extra straps and whatnot. I don't like extra things on my shoes. It's just not a thing I'm into, right? I want the minimalistic style, which is why I like running shoes, because it's usually just the, the bare minimum in a way. This, like, you got the straps, you got, I already don't really care for high top shoes in general, right? And in these, you do kind of have that same sock liner sort of thing, like I was saying, with, like, the nines and also the sevens, right? So you got that going on in there. So one thing to take away from that, like, sevens, eights, nines, when you're wearing them, you may not have as much room inside as other things when you go true to size. I still think true to size is fine. But some people might feel a little differently because you do lose just a little room in there. Hirachis are the same way, right? But either way, I think these are cool. I do like the 8 overall for some reason. I just got a decent look to it. So I have, what, three pair? I don't really see myself buying more because I don't. I just don't think I need any more of the 8. But, I mean... If they do like a black and yellow, black and university gold, kind of like those nines I just showed you, that, that is something that I would probably buy because it's kind of one of my go-to colors, right? That's why I have so many things in that color style. Let's see what's in this box. I have no idea why, but I, I'm probably just because, yeah, I do remember now. I wanted to stick with like the whole fall sort of color thing, and that's kind of where I was like, oh, this is brown or whatever. It'll be decent for it. But it was another rainy day that week, so I needed something that was going to be ready for that. And given that this is a trail shoe, right, it's got the trail thing on the side, right? There you go. So this, as it says on the top, kind of, you can kind of see that, Pegasus 36 Trail. I broke these out, really liked them, you know. I, I wore these to... Gatlinburg, Tennessee, walked up some mountains, walked all around, held up very well. You know, I even, I think I did a performance review in these as well, running through the park. So I'm pretty sure this was the pair I was wearing when I was running through there. And then I was like on my way back and I stopped to say something into the camera. And like all these mosquitoes come out of nowhere and like they just like swarm me, right? So then I was like, oh great, now I got to run all the way back to the car too? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't do a lot of performance reviews because they take a lot of effort, right? I mean, I'm, I'm barely doing like the actual the normal reviews right now because of the time they take. So performance reviews, I like them. Don't get me wrong. I, I wish I felt like doing more of them. It's just not going to happen, at least not for a little while. Somebody brought that up in the comments a while ago. And yeah, yeah, we, I would like to do a lot more of those because those are a little more useful to me, right? Because I can sit here and tell you what something feels like and I, as I like walk around in it. Or if I'm doing a Hirachi review, I can rely on past experience. But when you have something new, all I can talk about is just like, yeah, it's true to size. It's pretty comfortable. It should hold up. It's breathable. I, I like that, right? After that, what? But who knows? That thing may not really hold up so well after a month or something. So, in a way, that's why I like the performance things more. So, this is the Escape Hirachi, right? So, in whatever year this was, 2021, I'm pretty sure, they were putting out a lot of Hirachis, and this was one of them. I came along somewhere around the, the Stussy pair, right? Or Stussy. I never remember how that's pronounced. But I saw these and thought, that could be cool to have. Let's go ahead and get those, courtesy of Well Gosh, which means I spent some money on these. Yeah, so, well, 87 pounds altogether. No, I was about to say, that's not bad, right? 87 pounds? No, I flipped this page over. 109. 109 is a good bit more than that first number I said. But, you know, if you want something, you want it, right? So you get it. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and act like I get everything I want because I don't. But I get a lot of the things that I want because a lot of the things that I want happen to be cheap. So it just works out that way. And then this right here. Broke these out, finishing off my little fall shoe wear or whatever for the year. This is definitely something I think of when I think of that because, you know, the wheat, the flax, whatever you want to call it, this brown. 
Harachi. I remember seeing these at Foot Locker in El Paso at Cello Vista Mall. I was watching them for a while. Like, one of these days, I'm going to get them. You know, I just kept buying other stuff. And then I went in there one day. I'm like, all right, let me get those. I'm like, oh, actually, you know what? We just ran out of your size. So I had to go a size up on these. And some things, I know people talk about the Hirachis and say, oh, you should always go half size up. It's not entirely true because the different Hirachis trims or whatever you want to call them can fit a little differently. Like my Hirachi runs, the ones that have that iridescent sort of color, those don't fit at all like the other Hirachis, right? So those, true to size, feels like half size up on the other ones. So it's one of those things you got to know what you're getting into. But either way, I ended up with a 10 on these. And and some things, it's better to go up than to go down, right? So that's kind of what happened there. So they fit fine enough, you know. If anything, it's just kind of one of those things where you just wear some different socks and everything's fine. Uh, the Grinches. I should not have boxed these back up because... They come individually wrapped, and that's a little bit annoying. But for the sake of video things, let's go ahead and do this. Got some insoles there, right? It was Christmas time almost, so I figured, well, let's go ahead and get these Grinches out. That and I was, we were having like our little work Christmas, what do you call it? Like the gift exchange thing where you don't know who got the gifts or something. Something like they're all in a pile and like you pick one and then somebody can take it if they want it more than you or something. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to Christmas things. Either way, I worn these that day because like it went with the gift that I had provided. I'll just leave it at that for now. This is the Grinch forum, right? So you got all that Grinch stuff going on on the front there, all those little trinkets and such. Got a little Grinch guy on the inside. Well, those laces are kind of hiding it, but trust me, he's in there. And this little thing that was hanging on the side, and I took it off. So, yeah, these are pretty nice. I do like them a fair amount. I wore them that day, and then I wore them on Christmas Day while I was out in Iowa, which meant they needed some solid attention after that, getting them all cleaned up and whatnot. It snowed out there, you know? Then the snow makes the streets all nasty because... That's just how that works. Uh, let's see. Get this stuff back in here. It's like, I like going back to Iowa. You know, it's, it's cool, right? It's where I'm from. So you got that whole thing going on. But in the winter, it's just like a terrible place to be, right? It's just like, oh, we might just happen to get two feet of snow today. We'll see what happens. Like, what do you mean we'll see what happens? Like, can, can we just not do this? Like, why? Why is that happening? Right? Here, if the news says, like, there might be any possibility of snow the next day, like, the whole state shuts down. And it's fantastic, right? And I get to work from home. It's cool. And the streets are still clear because people just get scared. Out in Iowa, nope. They're built a little differently out there. So, this. This is the, the Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Uh, winter is here. White Walkers, right? It even says... Like, one of these laces says white, the other says walker on the tip there, on the aglet? Is that the word I'm thinking of for, like, the, the tip of the laces? Either way. So these right here, broke these out because that day was the first day of winter, so I figured let's go ahead and wear a winter shoe, right? It's not really a winter shoe, but it kind of is. I mean, it says winter is here on the back, right? And believe it or not, I've had these since 2019 and had never worn them until that day, right? So now I've worn them and I can have one less shoe on my not yet worn list. The dead stock list says the professional call it. You can't quite say I'm at that level, right? But, you know, that's what they call it. So let's move along. Let's move along. Got another box here. Actually, yeah, we got two more boxes, but four more shoes. All right. So, bam, bam. I know I might seem like I'm just flying on through this, and I am, but that's because some of us have, not, I don't really have things to do, but I just kind of want to get this knocked out, which I had set it up for like eight, and I was like, you know what, I'm not doing anything right now, I was listening to a podcast, podcast ended, so now I'm rambling on about shoes, 
This is that Jordan 9 boot that I was talking about. I was talking about these in my quarterly pickup video. I said that I bought this pair for me and that I bought a pair for my dad. Completely forgot that I had also bought a pair for my cousin, right? Yeah. I was trying to think, like, make sure I said that right, because, you know, he's my cousin's son, so that makes him, like, some form of cousin. Either way, he needed a pair of shoes, apparently. That's what his grandmother, my aunt, said. So I bought him a pair of shoes, which was this, right? in a size 13, so obviously not this one. But here's the thing. Wore these to Iowa, like I was saying moments ago. These things worked out so well. It was like, it was one of the best winter shoe purchases that I've made, right? I mean, sure, the comfort isn't on par with some of the other ones, like the Ultra Boost and the Air Maxes and such. Actually, I need to start wearing those because, you know, so I don't have to rush through Air Max month and get them all then. But either way, wearing these in like the snow and all that crap, you know, I've got this extra rugged sole going on down there, right? You can kind of catch it from the side if you look at the right way. I've got the leather down here. kind of helps keep things, you know, on the outside of the shoe. The suede, same thing there. Yeah, so going through, we were shoveling snow and just walking through places and all that good stuff. Feet were still dry as a bone, so that's pretty all right. I wasn't sure how to feel about this whole lacing situation because I like the thing that they have on the nines where it's like these little notches. But this, there's still there's still some speed lacing that you can do. Like it tightens up real nicely on here, so that's cool. And I have some extra laces for them. This came with them, right? So this pair comes with the brown laces. The the green and brown pair came with black laces and green laces. Those were both 3M. These are not 3M. So in my opinion, the green pair was the better pair, but. I bought those for my dad, and I figured I'll get the black pair for myself. I had these out, so I remember to put them back in the bag, back in the box. But yeah, this this right here, I mean, I know it's it's probably past the point of everybody talking about like shoe of the year or whatever. But for me, it's probably that one because I'm more of a functionality sort of person, right? I don't care about like how cool something was or how rare something was. Like, what's that even really matter, right? Like, I bought these for a purpose, and they serve that purpose and then some. So to me, that means a little bit more. You know, call it however you want to call it. And eventually, I might make one of those, like, videos that talks about my favorite things of 2022 or whatever. But if you're, if you're paying attention last year, that video didn't pop up until June, right? So it's, it's way, way after the fact. Let's go ahead and finish this thing off, see what we can see. So this right here, the Ultra Boost Mid, right? They made like four of these total color-wise, colorway wise, right? There was this one, and there was a reddish one around that same time, and then later they did one that I think has something to do with like some football player. I think that one also came in two colors. But it's weird, man. It is. It's different. It's very different. But it's very comfortable, right? Like, this is probably like the most comfortable, like, upper. It reminds me a lot of the, what's that thing? The the 350 Compact. Because the Compact is, like, built in a weird way compared to, like, a standard 350, right? It's very thick on the upper piece. It expands, but it's a lot of padding. And that's kind of what this reminds me of, right? And you got these fancy like yarn laces going on up here, right? So that's that's something you don't see very often. If this camera would focus a little better, you'd probably have a better idea of what I'm talking about. But if not, you know, it is what it is. And then it's got like the, because it is a mid, it comes up a little bit higher, which is a little odd. But, you know, overall, this is easily one of my favorite Ultra Boost models. Just wish they had made more of them, you know? Overall. It doesn't quite compare to the Ultra Boost Uncaged. This right here is one of the best things, like all things included, right? I, I use these as like my running shoe for a long time. I have like multiple pairs of these, like probably like five or something at least because they just, they look better than the Uncaged to me and they feel better than the Uncaged, which is possibly why when the Uncaged or the standard caged version which is why before these came around, a lot of people were just kind of cutting the cages off, right? But then it got to the point where they were making these all the time, and these were coming in most, 
I think every color I saw of these was also on the standard Ultra Boost, right? So you kind of had a choice. And in case you're wondering, there is no cage on the outside, but on the inside there is, I don't know if you can kind of see that depending on the angling, but on the inside, uh, try to show you, but let's see, let's get that in there. Yeah, you kind of see like that black part at the back there. There you go. That blue, blackish bluish part at the back there. That is the cage that goes on the inside. So it just kind of gives you a little bit of structure, right? So around here, it's not just the same as up here. It's kind of hard to get that angle in there, especially like with the whole thing being a little backwards or whatever. But now you see it, hopefully. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's not like they make Ultra Boost uncaged anymore. Adidas seems to take the things that I like the most and get rid of them or just turn them into some sort of debauchery. Seems to be their thing. And now we have this right here. This is, what is this? This is the Blue Tent Yeezy 350, right? I wore these at some point that week because, again, everything's broken up by weeks. This isn't how I closed off the month. I closed off the month with the um, cage, right? I do remember that. So this was probably the day before that, I think. Either way, the 350 here, I do like these a lot. Like I said, this is my favorite styling of it. And the blue tint, this color, you know, it's it's one of the ones I do like a little bit more than the average or whatever. I went up a half size on these, right? Because around that time, people have been talking about buying things, 350s is half size up because they were saying they fit snug, right? And so like I tried it, you know, just to see if how I like the fit, if I liked it more than true to size. I don't. I, I did, don't, like, not at all. Because the thing is, I wore them, like, I remember that day pretty clearly, because we were out at some restaurant, met up with some old friends from when I lived in South Carolina, and we were at some restaurant, and by the end of the day, you know, like, after walking around in them all day, they had loosened up a bit, and then they were just a little bit too loose. Not like my foot was just, like, swimming in here, but looser than I wanted them to be, right? So, you know, for perspective. So that's why I go true to size. A lot of people still, they do like the half size up, and that's what works for them. Fine, fantastic. Everybody's got their preference. Mine is true to size. But again, 350s aren't really happening anymore or something. I don't know. So that may not even matter. But I do like them. I like the shoe a fair amount, and I was able to get... I don't know. I've got a lot of pairs of 350s. I'd guess maybe like 30 or something. 30 is probably accurate. Yeah, because, right? Yeah, because like I have I have more 350s than 12s. And I'm at like, actually, yeah, it's got to be more than that. Because I think I have like 28, 27, 12s. So it's got to be, it, it could be mid 30s to 40. You know, for 350s? I don't know. I'd have to look. I don't really follow the numbers. But anyway, so that's that. Go ahead and... Now, I'm done with the shoe piece of this, right? So if you were only here for that, you're free to leave, right? You're not going to miss anything. Now I'm just going to open this, this pile of, like, mostly action figures and whatnot that's next to me. If you got some questions or whatever you want to say down there in the chat, go ahead and leave them, like, and I'll respond to them as they come in. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing the thing that I'm doing where I treat this like a normal video and I'd mostly just talk to myself but to the camera so that the people who watch this after the fact can watch it and it not be all dragged out. Bought this Coraline 4K Blue Ultra HD steel box set thing, right? Because I like this movie a fair amount and I figured, you know what, I start buying 4K movies because I have a, a PS5 and plays 4K movies, right? May as well use that thing as, as much as I can. So also on that note about the PS5, well, feel free to add me sometime if you want. We can play some games on the internet. But like I bought that thing in September of 2021, right? But given that I've been doing this whole college thing for the last like forever, and that just finished last Sunday, I've just now been able to like actually, oh, that's an interesting packaging. Look at this thing. It's like all wrapped up in here. But yeah, so I've just been able to just now get into actually like playing this thing. So I installed Ratchet and Clank and 
Black Spider Man the other day. What's whatever that's called? How, how does the thing even come out of here? Oh, I guess it would help if I took the tape off. You know, sometimes you're just not paying as much attention as you should to things. So, there's that. So this right here, kind of like a crossover thing, crossover that almost was. There was supposed to be a He-Man Ninja Turtles crossover a while ago. You know, that's like the whole certificate of authenticity, right? So there was supposed to be this crossover a while ago, and then things just kind of fell through, but they had already done like a lot of the artwork and stuff. So they figured, okay, well, we can sell that, I guess, and maybe people will be into it. And yeah, I was into it. I saw some posts about it, so I bought it. Forty dollars later or something, here we are, right? I'm a big fan of He-Man. I'm a big fan of the Ninja Turtles. So when you combine two things that I like, it's almost a guaranteed sell, right? That's just how that works for me. One of these days, I'm gonna have to like grow up and start acting like an adult and stop spending all this money on like toys and action figures or whatever. But eh. That also sounds dumb to me. Speaking of toys and action figures, here's another. Let's go ahead and cut this thing open so you can see what's going on in here. Because as I often say, right, if I'm buying these things, right, I want to, like, see them, want to, like, experience them or something. So that means I kind of have to open these things. It's kind of hard sometimes because the way they do these, the packaging. But there we go. Get that all opened up. It's a ringside ringside collectibles exclusive Bray Wyatt, right? So you got the Vince McMahon, you got like that rabbit dude, you got the, like the spooky girl and like the weird dinosaur thing. Yeah, so this was the only one that I didn't have, and I was about to buy it like a few months ago. And then I couldn't taking this little tape off. And then I couldn't because well, Ray Wyatt made his comeback, and this thing went from, like, $10 to, like, $25, right? Because all of a sudden, everybody wanted it. So I was like, oh, well, great. So I waited just to make sure, you know, that I didn't pay too much for it. And then I was able to get it for the price that I originally wanted it for or less. I can't remember exactly. Because since it's there, it's like, I guess they can help control the distribution so doesn't sell out so much so they just get more made which is why i opted to not buy it immediately you know what i'm saying so what is this thing i honestly don't remember it must be one of those random ebay purchases because i do a fair amount of that yeah oh yeah so when i when i got my master's degree stuff finished right i said that i was going to go online and Buy some Spider-Man figures that I had been thinking about, right? Well, cause, you know, I figured I should celebrate, right? You only do that every so many years. unless, Or maybe never. I don't know. It depends on how much school you do. So I wanted this Spider-Man 2099. And since that, I had just done that. I was like, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go ahead and find whoever wants to sell this to me for the, the most decent price. And this thing is pretty cool. So I am very content with that, right? Spider-Man 2099 may not be everybody's favorite character. I get it. Don't care. I liked it, and I wanted to complete my little set that I have going, so that's why he's here. Let's see what's going on in this one, right? And we can still do all right on the time. I'm at 38.50. All right, not too bad, not too bad. I like these things to be under an hour, right? Because I feel like after that, like, okay, what, what's really going on, right? And, I mean, I finished this the shoe things is what like probably 30 35 oh okay yeah, yeah for a second i was thinking i already had this but that was the other ones a bunch of other ones that arrived recently so if you're seeing it there we go this is the cyclops from the x-men animated series right i pre-ordered this because again you know that's the way my life works i just kind of make these pre-orders with Hasbro, and then I forget about them, and all of a sudden it's like, hey, here's your shipping notice. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of here, so that way we can all see what it looks like. And that's what it looks like, exactly like the box, right? 
But if you're into like the animated series, these figures are pretty cool. They come in these little DVD style boxes or Blu-ray style boxes, you know, or VHS style boxes, you know. Like mess that up so many times, so many times. How many times? It's called the Insane Clown Posse. But anyways, now we have this one last box. Open this thing up, see what's going on in here with this handy dandy knife that BX got me. I'm, I keep meaning to tell him that I'm doing these lives because he's always like, yeah, let me know, man. I'll jump in with you. And then I, I mean to, right? I've got his number and everything. I just never remember until it's like right now. Been wanting that $20.99 for a while. I love Miguel. Peter David was on one. Oh, okay. The VHS packaging is really dope. I get a few characters out of the pack here. So I have, as it stands right now, I have all of the animated series figures. There's Jubilee, there's Morph, there's Storm, there's Jean Grey. Mr. Sin the Mr. Sinister is like, thumbs up, dude. And who else? Who else? I'm forgetting somebody. Did I say Wolverine? I think I said Wolverine. I said Jubilee, right? Yeah. Oh, this. Okay, this box comes from Twisted. Like T W I Z T I D, right? Hangs out with the insane clown posse, or at least they used to. I did their, I did a meet and greet thing, VIP stuff, you know, because when I go to tours, sometimes I go to the meet and greets because why not, right? I'm already there, may as well meet the people. So, what is this? The gang rags. So that's going to be Blaze, right? So, you, you pay some money, you get to meet the guys, hang out before the show or whatever, and they send you, like, a bunch of stuff, right? So, there's a CD in here, cause, and I do like the CDs, because I'm still one of those CD guys. This is Generation Nightmare, right? Twisted. So, there's that. Okay, this is, oh, okay. This is the Mansmith and Mutant, right? Yeah, okay, so this is Mutant. And it's going to be remixed and remastered. So when this originally came out, they had Man's Myth and that one. Let's see. And this is going to be a vinyl, right? A very twisted Christmas. So there's that. Right? So that's pretty nice. I don't have a record player, but, you know, it'd be cool to have one. I should probably get one. Is that okay? You got this from the Certified Psychos tour, right? The little poster, and then this one as well, because he was the guy who opened for Twisted uh, Blaze and ABK, ABK being anybody killer, and some pins, right? You got some little pins here. See that? Got those. Uh, what is this? A sticker? Yeah. Got a sticker, again, from the Certified Psychos Tour. I got the fancy little lanyard over there. Actually, maybe I'll wear that one this week, because I have, I, you know, at work, I wear lanyards, right? Some little cards here, kind of like, almost like trading cards, but smaller. Another one, because that's going to be twisted, right? So there's that. Oh, boy. This is one of those little, one of those little bags, with, like the little ropes on the side, you know? Certified Psychos thing. Got us a poster here. How did that happen? And this is... Oh, that is nice. It's like kind of got some, some foil sort of thing going on with it, you know? So Certified Psychos once again. That is very cool. This, I'll have to figure out what size that is and get a frame for it. Because that's the only way to display that. Set that over there. Oh, this. I don't know what this is. But let's go ahead and... I was about to just cut into it like a savage, but it has like a preparation and all for here. Let's see what this thing is. Set so that there. And this... Oh, okay. This is some kind of flag of sorts. Just pretend that it's not upside down. Use your imagination, people. So, got a flag thing here, right? So that's pretty cool. I don't know what I will do with it. I'm not sure where to, I would hang that, but it's cool to have, I'll say that. And then got a beanie here, so that's pretty all right. Because the only types of hats that I would happen to wear are beanies. So there's that, certified cycles, right? 
so yeah that's that's a lot of stuff man and it was like what a hundred dollars for that or something so yeah totally worth it in my opinion like when you think about the value or whatever so that's very cool now let me go ahead and Thank you. 